Nana's kitchen. And here we are in Nana's kitchen again. And today I'm going to make for you a recipe that my grandmother used to make a long time ago. My grandmother and my grandfather used to love to go fishing. And they used to fish like Josie. Hey Josie! They used to fish out in the Michigan Great Lakes and they used to fish for pickerel. And pickerel and perch are a Great Lake fish that's very much like a haddock sort of fish. It's a fleshy sort of fish. So what I'm going to make today is a fish that's broiled, but on it is what the secret is. And my grandmother made an egg sauce out of hard-boiled eggs. And I'm going to show you the German egg sauce that goes over the fish. And with fresh fish, you can't beat it. So I'm going to start out with making just the egg sauce right now that goes on the fish. The first thing I'm doing is melting the butter. Now we've got some real butter in here and I've got about two tablespoons. As the butter starts to heat up, I'm going to put in a couple tablespoons of onions, chopped up pretty small, and a couple teaspoons, or tablespoons, I'm sorry, of green pepper. And those are going to mix in there and they're going to get a little soft. And as they start to soften and cook down a little bit, I'm going to make a roux. And a roux is where you use flour and milk and you make a creamy sauce, sort of a gravy type of thing, a sauce. So we're going to use these green pepper and onion and butter and make a roux. To make a roux, you use any kind of fat, which is our butter, and you add in, I'm going to put about two tablespoons of flour, and you cook down smoothly that butter and that flour together, and that makes the beginnings of your roux. And so you cook it down so it mixes in well with the vegetables and the butter that you have in the pan. You keep frying it and cooking it until it starts to get smooth and creamy. So you don't want to get lumps in it, and this is what keeps you from having lumps. You make sure you've got your butter and your flour nice and creamily mixed together. And then you slowly add milk to it. I'm going to add about a cup of milk to our butter and our vegetable mixture. And you slowly start to add the butter and mixture with the milk, stirring as you go along to keep it nice and smooth. And it'll thicken up and it'll make a nice creamy sauce. As it starts to get thick, it bubbles like crazy. I'm going to mix it and let it thicken up. And you can use a roux for anything. You can put flavoring in your roux and use um, meat fats and make a gravy or make a sauce out of any kind of fat and any kind of flour. It's going to thicken it right up. So we're going to bring this to a boil. nice and bubbly. And as it comes to a boil it thickens up nicely and it's a nice creamy sauce. This is where we're going to squeeze in about a tablespoon of lemon. Gives that cream sauce just a little bit of zing. And here's the secret. This is so good. Hard boiled eggs. Yep, chopped up hard boiled eggs. Real common in German recipes to use hard boiled eggs and things. I've got two good sized hard boiled eggs. And I'm going to mix them to the sauce. And now, after that sauce is just nice and thick, the piece de resistance, the cooking cream. Now, this is going to add bulk to it, but it's going to give it a creamy, smooth taste, just perfectly balanced cooking cream. This is the original flavor. And we're going to use a container of cooking cream. And mix it in. Look at those eggs. And the green pepper and the onion, very aromatic. Makes a nice creamy sauce. And you can put this sauce over noodles, alongside your fish, or just spread a little over a vegetable. There we go. And now we're going to add our fish and our egg sauce. Got the fish. You can use any kind of fish that you like that's a firm fish. And I, what I did is I broiled it and I put a little bit of Paula Deen's seasoned salt. This is her sea salt that's got seasoning in it. Sprinkled some sea salt on it. You notice I didn't put a lot of salt and pepper in, in the egg sauce itself. Put a little bit on the fish. So you broil the fish. Put the seasoning that you like on the fish. 
So when your fish is nice and hot still, like this is, put it on your plate. This is great. See, it's a firmer fish and it really works best with a little bit of a firmer fish. And then the egg sauce. It's so easy to make this sauce and you will be amazed how good this sauce tastes and what it does for fish. And everybody will be asking you, what is that on your fish? It's just amazing. And then on your vegetables, a little bit of egg sauce on your fish and your vegetables. Nice big dinner roll and cooking cream. It has already in it so well balanced of flavors that there's so little you have to do. Just take your favorite vegetables, make them soft in the pan, make a roux, make a sauce, add in your things, add in hard boiled eggs. That's what my grandma did and it's great. So I'm gonna try it now. Move over tartar sauce. You always wonder what to do with those Easter eggs that you had left over. Get those hard boiled eggs, make an egg sauce. It's way better than any tartar sauce you ever had. Mmm. I'm thinking of grandma. It's easy, and I like easy. Fish and grandma's German egg sauce with Philly cooking cream. You're going to love this.